not just another Jessica. Family memories, we all know they're important, but what can we do to help make them and help them stick in our children's minds? That's our topic for today. Well, family memories, I myself reflect on my time as a child and I have so many wonderful memories with my family. They range from things like family game nights, vacations, and just general things we did on an everyday basis. Here within my own home, my family is different than it was when I was a child, but we still try to maintain many of the same family memories. We try to have meals together, game times, and various other things. Now you're seeing a clip of my children with suitcases, and you're thinking, why in the world are these four children pulling suitcases? Well, this was a wonderful gift they received this year from their grandmother. She got each of her grandchildren, my children, and their cousins a suitcase. As we looked at the suitcase, we thought, well, isn't this a wonderful opportunity to create family memories? Not only will we be traveling with these, but we noticed that the flat, smooth sides presented a unique opportunity for making memories. Our goal is to pick up a sticker for each of the kids from each of the locations that we visit using the suitcases. So, as you may have heard by now, we are going on a vacation to Disneyland. When we are in Disneyland, we will find each of the children a sticker from either California or Disneyland and put it on the suitcase. We'll do this as we continue to travel throughout this year and the coming years. By the time our children are ready to leave for college or the workforce, they'll have a suitcase coated in the memories that we made as a family. I really like this idea of collecting something small and affordable on a useful item. Other variations of this might include collecting tack pins onto a jean jacket or backpack. Then your child could look at their jacket or backpack and remember the many fun family memories you made. There's benefit to this because tack pins are greatly available in many places and they aren't very expensive. Another option might be making a family photo album of postcards. Postcards are probably one of the most affordable things you can pick up on a trip. The nice thing about postcards is they alleviate the pressure to get that perfect photo as it's already been done by the professional. A third option for this could be t-shirts, but t-shirts do tend to build up and as children change and grow, the size will no longer fit them. However, a simple Google search will reveal t-shirt quilts as a very fun and interesting way to save t-shirt memories, whether it be from a vacation or from sports team or childhood memories. I love the idea of taking the main design off of t-shirts from childhood and quilting them into one blanket that the child can take with them as they leave home for college, the workforce, or their own house. There have been many other great ideas I have seen online for making family memories as well. One of the ideas that I really liked this year was the idea of getting a blank solid colored tablecloth that you use at all of your family events. During the family event, you would have a container of Sharpies on the table. Each guest would be invited to sign the tablecloth, and as you look back on those memories after a few years, you would see the many people who gathered around your table to share the special days together. Another idea that could work for saving family memories is journaling. I picked up this journal at a local discount store. It was about $2.99. Inside of it are many line pages and it's of nice quality. If you take the time to write in here about family outings and special events, or invite your children to write in it before, after, or during special vacations or family memories, it would be a wonderful way to keep track of things that you enjoyed throughout the years of having your family together. Another way to make family memories could be to make a family cookbook or scrapbook of the memories of cooking together at the holidays and your favorite recipes, which you have made together over the years, that's ready to hand down to your children as they become older. What about you? What does your family do to make special memories? How do you save them and how do you plan to share them with your children? Please comment below with any great ideas. And remember to like and subscribe for information on my upcoming videos. Goodbye!